colleague, a friend of mine, Dr. Philip Schusler. He's going to talk about the piece for saxophone and piano. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Dr. Schusler. I teach theory here at Southeastern Theory and Composition. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this piece before uh, we start to play, just to kind of prepare you for what is about to happen. So I write what's generally thought of or called contemporary or modern music. It's not the kind of music that you're probably accustomed to hearing on a regular basis. It's not the kind of music you probably play in band. It has a little bit more atonality and dissonance mixed in with tonality a little bit. And it's a piece uh, for alto saxophone, piano, and electronic sounds. There are sounds derived from the piano, from the saxophone, and from various other instruments that I put into the computer software program and manipulate it so that you get electronic sounds out of these speakers that are mixed in with the live sounds. So you get this kind of otherworldly blend of electronic uh, sounds and live instrument sounds. The piece is called Driftwood Box Puzzle. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of a, of a box puzzle. You can actually buy these on eBay or online. They're little boxes that you can put jewelry or, or special special trinkets in. But in order to open the box, you have to figure out how to open it. So it's kind of like a game. Uh, some of these box puzzles are conformed or shaped in different ways. So for instance, you might have a box that has a hollowed out panel on the side. So you find that panel, and open it up, it has a button, and you press the button and it opens up another compartment that has a key in it, and then you get the key and you open it up and there's treasure inside. So I kind of could try to conceive of this piece like a box puzzle, where it's a little kind of game where you wind your way through these different sound worlds. Some of the sound worlds are very hypnotic, kind of meditative. Others are a little bit more active, so you're kind of going through these different kind of sonic universes. Uh, so that's what, that's what this piece is kind of about. So you kind of maybe suggest kind of sit back and kind of let the music flow over you and as you kind of take this journey with us. Can you talk about different sections of the piece? How some some of the sections are improvisational in manner and some are very set. So you just read the notes as written and the notes are right. Yeah, so the score has kind of uh, three sections. What I have these notes that are in boxes and you can you, you can play the notes Dr. Schwartz and I can play the notes in a you know, kind of loose ordering and we kind of play off of each other based on what's happening with the sound. And then other sections are much more tighter and constricted and we kind of move through those passages into other more kind of free sections. That's the kind of basic construction that you can kind of take, take from it what you will. Okay.